Hello and welcome to this week's Waffle. We'll have news, a tale, a geography lesson and a favourite video. Not necessarily in that order. In the news this week, uh, still no handbrake cable. It looks like even Fiat can't supply this part and it is something that Swift have modified uh, from the standard rolling chassis which they were supplied with. So uh, we'll have to wait and see what happens with that, but it could be some time. Competition entries. We've uh, had a total of seven now, but one has been taken down, uh, so that no longer will be counted. And uh, the latest one from Posh Cats is uh, another good one, another hilarious one, well worth uh, looking at, and uh, they've done very well. The closing date for the competition is the 20th of February. Anything that I've not been notified by the by midnight UTC on the 20th of February will not be entered into the competition. Got to cut it short, just in case I get a donda in, and we'll end about Put the result out on the 27th, I think. But that brings me to a channel update. And uh, we're putting out a few, you might like to call them filler videos coming up, as we uh, haven't been able to donder so far except for one trip this year, with uh, Desmond needing a handbrake cable. So I uh, hope you enjoy them, and we hope to be dondering as soon as possible. I'm going to disappear now and put a picture up, and just have a... A geography lesson for our friends over the pond to explain the different parts of these, our British Isles. I was looking at a way to explain this simply and I came across this Venn diagram which shows it very very simply and very, very succinctly, I thought. It takes away all the geopolitical niceties and the confusion of the map and shows each entity and where it exists within the British Isles, the United Kingdom, Great Britain, the Crown Dependencies and the Ireland of Ireland. So as you can see, Great Britain is in the British Isles. The British Isles consists of all the islands which make up the British archipelago. They do not include the Channel Islands as they are off the French coast. However they are Crown Dependencies. The Isle of Man is part of the British Isles but not part of Great Britain. Great Britain consists solely of England, Scotland and the Principality of Wales. That when you add Northern Ireland, together with Great Britain, form the United Kingdom. The United Kingdom is a geopolitical entity. The rest of the island of Ireland contains the Republic of Ireland. Again, a geopolitical entity. The Isle of Man, although it's a Crown Dependency and part of the British Isles, is part of neither of these countries. I hope that has helped a few people to understand what us Brits are talking about when we mention the different countries and uh, entities which kind of confuses people who don't live here and some who do. That's me back again. Sorry about that but I've been asked so many questions about the differences I thought I'd, I'd just do that. And uh, so I promised you a tale. Just a short tale about a trip from Mount Pleasant Airfield into Port Stanley one afternoon. We, uh, we had a little bit of time off and we had access to a bimble wagon but uh, not really fancying a bimble we decided to go and see the delights of Port Stanley and see what it had to offer. We, uh, we drove the interesting roads into the town and uh, the 
the only place to go really, the Hob, the Upland Goose. So we walked in there and we were talking to the lady behind the bar and having a, a beer and uh, we were asking for things to do, what people did of an evening for entertainment in Port Stanley. And at that point we were told that there was an event on in the village hall and it was the scouts and, and guides and, and the older teenagers and what have you rather than just the youngsters and they had a, a dance on that night and they groped quickly yeah that's what I said grope quickly we sort of stood back and went whoa wait <laughs> what do you mean apparently we'd misheard her and she hadn't said grope quickly but in the local accent had said grow up quickly thinking we were on the lookout for young women uh, <laughs> uh, we were all married and happily married so we decided to decline on the invitation <laughs> but we did found sorry we did find things to do in the town and we even managed to uh, blag our way onto a cruise ship that was uh, in the port. So that brings me to this week's favourite video. And the channel is Old School and Pebbles Travels and they're uh, from a land down under. And this video is If I Can Do It, So Can You. And it is about the little modifications that they've made to their RV to allow them as disabled to travel around the same way anybody else can. Hope you enjoy this video. Hope you enjoy their video. And hope we'll, hopefully we'll have some video content to bring you next time. Bye for now from Desmond's Donders.